It took a mere 43 mini breaks to consolidate my belief that travel is a monstrosity. Bingo. But let me resubmit, for all your consideration, the hard evidence. Sounds like a threat. <laughs> for what does TV do better than repeat itself? So let me, legal down at Richard Ayuadi, reheat this sorry hash. This is a terrible idea! <laughs> In a series of eerily familiar montages, I'm going to savagely shoulder you through a phalanx of packed peregrinations. The best of times. Tonight, a stacked taco of treasures. You would be easier to draw as a cartoon I strip than me. I am a cartoon me. character. Of crafts plus arts. That felt good even from here. Which could equal semi-pleasing experience. <laughs> oh! That's a crying shame. And joining me for this aspirational archival astininity is a dumper of doodas. You may well know from that thing, that thing, that thing, and that thing. Oh, my God, I feel so alive. Together we will plunge within. How do you become famous? Da, da. Flirt. I think it's OK for now. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely OK. <laughs> it's no more than that. And resist insight. I'm your padre. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We went, but should we have gone? Yes, very much so. Thanks. Although I'm a gigantic burke, it seems like every time I'm close to a ruddy museum, someone makes a record of this in a vain attempt to make me appear cultured. Is this for sale? Unfortunately not. OK, let's move on. And since the footage exists, why not exhume it? And further, why not take our first whiff of this didactic backslide in Am to the Stir to the Dam with Joe to the Lie to the Soot? I'm on my holidays. About to take our fill at the Rijksmuseum. Tall, isn't it? Yes, it's good head height. It houses 800 years of Dutch history, including some proper good works of art, a collection that we are about to embellish. We are here for the drawing tour. The tour aims to sharpen the nibs of would-be artists and encourage folks to take some frickin' stock of the art they're eyeballing. Pencil? Thank you very much. Oh, thank pencil. you. What sort of pencil is this? Is this a HB? Uh, HB, I guess so, yes. It's not, it's not my favourite, but... Uh, okay. I'll work with it. Our first stop sees a squiggling a sculpture. Something like a Michelin. Oh, OK. Yeah? aiming to capture shape and volume and not sweat the small shears. So we show, we put it like this, so you... Have... <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing beyond the expression to what, what's going on. That feeling inside. Yeah. OK. Then Wilma leads us upstairs to hone our draftsmanship on some Dutch masters. They look drunk, which is sort of based on my family, I think. I think I'm the little guy with the spoon. I mean, look. Finally, we wallop towards Amsterdam's most celebrated canvas. It looks like he's made, like, a nice quiche, and he's yeah. showing it. Look at my quiche. Yes, to I told them seven. Everyone's here. And the guy next to him's going, you, I, you I, actually I, said 7.30. I think it's maybe 7.30. But 7 that, that's Tony. If you want him 7.30, you say 7. But our BAFTA-baiting Rembrandts cannot deter us from our solemn responsibility to precisely reproduce a face of our choosing from this tight tableau. OK, very good. Where's the arrow on that? No, I've just... Um, oh, you've added the arrow. This is after Rembrandt. You've made great progress. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Do you feel I good about it? I had a long way to go. Yeah. I mean, you've been excellent. What was the assessment on mine in the end? No, it can give you a, a six. Mine, six out of mine is... It's an eight. Eight. OK. I win at art. From the dam to the rick, i.e. Zurich, with Skinner, comma, Frank. Cheers. Cheers. Wherein we wended to the inception point of an avant-garde vanguard. Where do you stand with Dada? I'm glad it happened, but I don't know if I'd necessarily been bothered to right. witness it. I deliberately cut off Frank's rant there to tell you that Dadaism encompassed performance, poetry, painting and sculpture. That's very good, uh, waiting for people, bar business. Yes. Whilst questioning the whole flipping point of art... They're mainly a bar. 
during the day we are a kind of museum and a pilgrimage place for tourists. What relevance does Dada have to us now? Can we be inducted into Dada? How do we become Dadaists? I'm trying to link. Trying to link. I, I, I noticed, that's why I, I mean, stepped back I'm and I thought this is, uh, yeah. uh, this is a segue. Well, we uh, now provide Dada blessings. I think, given that we're going to a Dada sequence, we shouldn't even walk out of shot. We should cut now. So for the blessing, I will have to put your head into the water. I'll say four sentences that define Dada. Then you come up and you shout Dada. So I would suggest maybe you take off your jacket. OK, here you go. OK. How do you achieve eternal bliss? Dada! How do you become famous? Dada! With noble gesture and delicate propriety until craziness, until unconsciousness. Dada! Wow. That seemed a lot more violent than, than I thought it would be. I, um, I feel I've been abused. <laughs> I do have trust issues. If I suddenly freak out and elbow you in the nose, you'll know why. Okay. How do you achieve eternal bliss? Dada. How do you become famous? Dada. With noble gesture and delicate propriety until craziness, until unconsciousness. Dada. Thank you very much. I quite enjoyed it. It's all right. We can do it again if you want. I'm OK. Yeah, well. <laughs> I was not OK and I lied about enjoying it. Let's pretend this moment connects to another one in Hong Kong with Hollywood hot cheers, John Hamm. Dang it. At an Xmas prior to the one that's yet to come. I have one question about this park. Tell me. Do they allow gambling? They no longer allow gambling. In 1993, they cleaned this place up. This idyll was once a triad-controlled haven of crookery and iniquity, but now it's Kowloon Walled City Park. Have you had any dealings with the triads? I have not, fortunately. No. Big fan of yours, though. No, that's nice. Up until its demolition in 93, Kowloon Walled City housed up to 50,000 people in well-rubbish slum conditions. But, like the one show, we must now segue from abject misery to something figuratively and literally lighter. Let's meet the titan of Hong Kong's highly competitive paper-tearing scene. Hi, how do you do? Your uncle That's man. Yeah. That's the next installment of this franchise. Oh, Bad man. You know? Yeah. Travel man. Uncle yeah. man. Uncle man. Oh, All the man. Yeah. Uncle man's my rat name. I, I can tear in your profile. My profile? Yeah. I'm not sure I really have a profile. So I need to come together. Oh, yeah. Oh, there yeah. you are. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, Uncle Man. That's very good. That's remarkable. Also, look how he did your hat. Like, there's this little seam yeah. on the hat. He's done it very well. And he's, and he's accurately represented your curly hair. Very good. There's a danger this may look similar to mine. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a different chin. Yeah. You look like Banana Man. As if brief to crowbar in a Christmas theme, Uncle Man shears out some seasonal shapes. This is great. This is turning into Blue Peter. You can do this at home. You just need some green card, some sellotape, and some time on your hands. This is lovely. And there's and two. two. And there's two. Thank you. With the fourth wall shattered, now it's time for a traditional Chinese New Year decoration. In Chinese letter, the means is uh, lucky and happiness. Lucky. Yeah. OK. And happiness. And, ha and happiness. Two good things for the yeah. New Year. Good. This is a virtuoso display of tearing. Ah, oh, the delicacy of this. Look at oh. this. It's, it's I mean, that's excellent. Gossamer. It's incredible. Do you like it? Yes, yeah. thank you very much. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's a tough fold. Not for this guy. He's great with maps. Oh, yeah. He put it right back in the glove compartment. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uncle Man, a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Have a nice day. OK. Thank Bye -bye. you very Thank much. Thank you. It's the worst handkerchief I've ever owned, but certainly one of the most beguiling. As well as being glib in Hong Kong, I was also glib and insubstantial in Athens. This time with a post-continent Dawn French. <laughs> I introduced her and my big cravat to a wall. You'll recognise this from your 2011 collection of Time magazine. The Canacos. The Riot Dog. 
part of the austerity riots. When I say part, I don't yeah. know how fully behind the demonstrations he was ideologically. Right. I think he was frankly caught up in events. Yeah. But he's been canonised here. This is making me a bit emotional yes. because that looks like my dog. This is called All Dogs Go to Heaven. Well, that's not true. In my family, quite a lot of dogs went to a farm in Wales. Oh, and they hang them? <laughs> well, your dad says they've gone to a farm in Wales, but what's actually happened is that they've died. OK. This died in 2014. That dog did? Yeah. Did it go to a farm in I Wales? Think, I think it was the artefacts of tear gas. Oh. You rejoin I, fat and perfectionist Richard Ayuadi, back for another spoonful of old shears. Let us alight in Norway and then narrow ourselves in Oslo with the person Faye Ripley. Oh, lovely. Who demands her art be waiting for her at the hotel. This place costs the most per room of any hotel in Scandinavia to build. And to stay at. Obviously, that's going to be picked up by the broadcaster. Located on Thief Island, so named because it was full of half-inches, is our hecka-hip hostel, The Thief. This guy is either very grateful to found this hotel or he's been afflicted by terrible diarrhoea. <laughs> Please. This formidable flop house is full of contemporary art, including works by Hearst, Coons and Opie. There's a spa, a bar and an uncanny replica of my personal Brian Ferry-themed supper saloon. I heard this is a number three in TripAdvisor's Oslo-based hotel. It is. Oh, good. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Dominic, who asked me to withhold his last name, shows me to the Oslo suite. The room was both furnished and inaugurated by pop art pioneer Peter Blake. He designed it, he contributed his artwork to the room, and he okay. was the first person to ever stay in this room. He bagsied it. He, he bagsied it. And is the art complimentary? Uh, no. Okay. You've got to leave it here. That's a shame. Faye self deposits in the Apparatchik suite, which takes some of its name from the supergroup Apparatchik. Oh, jazzy! It's all quite flammable. I'd say. It includes dual mirror balls, a stack of wax... Ah, my first album. ..and a projected opportunity for 2D standing. Did you book a restaurant for tonight? Or should we stay in? Maybe get some room service. You're looking good there. Hey. There you go. Hey. Hey? Time's up. Really? So thin is the premise of this compilation that we're going to now go to Vienna with Chris Odin Dowd. Mm. It's not unpleasant. For what is little more than a pratfall. The snow globe was invented in Vienna 115 years ago. A museum dedicated to their continuing relevance is run by Erwin Pertzi III, grandson of the inventor who guards the magical secret of the realistic snow with his life. What is the snow in these globes? Uh, to tell the truth, this is my secret. What is it? it? Go it on. It's snow from my snow globes. It's actual snow. Yeah. Let's okay. have a look at some of them. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I lift that? Is that one yeah. liftable? Yeah. OK. This is a It's one... a little bit heavy. Be oh. careful, because that's Just Jeremy Clarkson's Just hold it on Clarkson's the glass, one. please. Look at that. That is good quality um, fake snow. Oh. There you go. <laughs> go. Oh! That's a crying shame. Oh, Erwin, I'm so sorry. I'm just so pleased it's not me. I can't lie, I want to feel bad for you, but the relief that that wasn't me is so great. That Drop is... it. Oh, oh, careful. OK. Yeah. Oh. Now you can see the it's magnification. Okay. If yes. you remember how the... How big the car was before. I've got to say, I'm in such a state of shock, <laughs> yeah. I can't really remember anything. I don't even remember who you are. Okay. I don't know why I'm here. Yeah. I just know we've done something bad. <laughs> and it wasn't my fault. OK. Shall we look through... Shall we go and more gloves? Let's look at the other room of breakables, okay. shall we, Owen? OK. OK, here we go. Oh, crumbs. In order to harness the potential for fresh disgrace, I resolve to see if there's any more valuable glassware in the joint worth scoping out. And there ruddy well is. A snow globe from Orson Welles' masterpiece, Citizen Kane. 
my grandfather made the snow globe for the movie. I mean, yeah? this is good. And uh, this is a replica. I'm just saying, don't do a stock inventory tonight because yeah. as soon as your back's turned, I'm taking this. <laughs> I'm taking the snow globe. I'm going to be right up front. Is it just normal water? Yeah, Austrian alpine water. Oh, what a city. What a city. Well, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> do you blow the glass yourself? No. 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 <laughs> this is. Idiot. <laughs> The glass globe we buy from a glass factory. And the snow you make with? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I oh, do. I do. Yeah. God, you're yeah. good. I would like to remind you, you have something in your pocket. Oh. I have no idea what I you're talking about. I to see you. And you're being very passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which I don't appreciate. But it's lovely to meet you. Um, there's nothing in my pocket. You have a vandal in here. You need to deal with that. I'll see you later. Okay? Thank you so much. I'll see you that later. A pleasure. Chris Odin Dowd and his overly moisturised hands. Next, Rome in the reliably tensile grip of Matt Lucas. Where it was time to swipe some swag. So we head to the Via Maguta, home to La Bottega del Marmoraro, where two generations of the Fiorentini family have carved marble tablets to order. This place is marvellous. <laughs> non capisco l'inglese. Armed only with a humble translation app on the smartphone, we effortlessly enter into life-affirming dialogue. Thank you for having us visit your shop. Tell me, please... Why do you carve marble? Grazie per averti visitato il tuo negozio. Dimmi per favore perché fai in marmo. Perché? Well, well, oh, well, well, well. Perché lo faceva mio padre e perché continuo a farlo io? Nepotism is the answer. Because we did not want it, because my dad did it, because he continues to do it. <laughs> We soon reach our modest data limit and are forced to put nib to pad. That's the date of birth. Mm. And then I only need to... Mm -hmm. just, yes. Because that will save my estate. Si, sí, posso farlo. Yeah. And me... Careful, that's an original. So, I want up the gunners, because I'm an Arsenal fan. OK, yeah. one hour. One, one hour? hour? Yeah. That's a tight turnaround. OK. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. Once more, we must rely on a bath-debating montage in order to compress this eternity. Here we go. Hello, once more. Ciao. Right, what you got? Let's Forza have a look gunners. at that. Oh, so, <laughs> Forza Gunners. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. I tell you what, I'm less happy because, look... <laughs> There's meant to be room here for the end date. Not born 1977, died dot, dot, dot. But, on the back. On the back. People have to walk round. Yes. yes. Where are you going to be buried? Somewhere small. Right. There's your 30 euros. <laughs> well, I think you're very that, difficult. That would have been better just with a full stop. It's born 1977, died. Yeah. Ciao. 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 I'm sorry about my friend. <laughs> Now Ibiza. Oh wow. With international introvert Jessica Nappett. Ibiza's Henge is one of 51 sculptures that form part of a global land art project. That's right. You're looking at something that was erected without planning permission. <laughs> In 2014. Solid basalt. 420 tons. That one's 10 metres, topped with 23 karat gold. Prove it, do you know what I mean? Well, go on Google Maps. <laughs> Why do you think this place is here? Some people say, and this is direct from the internet... Why are you so angry? This is my tone. I'm not angry. I'm trying to give it light and shade. That this is for UFOs. <laughs> You're going to be sick. Now, why they'd be able to see this rather than anything else, I don't know. How do you feel about these lines on the column? The are ridges. They, I would have thought that you would like the ridges to give you something to count if I'm judging your character correctly. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. How many I mean, columns are there? There are 13 columns, I know that. Right. But I haven't counted that. Oh. That's just come in through the earpiece. 
Speaking of people ashamed to be near me, we encounter in the Spanish city of Seville the redoubtable Rob Delaney and I. I don't know this man. About to step up. How do you feel about dancing? I'm just going to ask you while we pan down. Sure. I, uh, I like to move rhythmically when music is playing, but I wouldn't call what I do dance. I'll come now. Andalusia is the birthplace of flamenco, and lessons are readily available for beginners, as well as the experts we will shortly become. Hello. Hi. Hello. Overwhelmed by my powerful masculinity, Manuela attempts to teach us the fundamentals of flamenco. One. Now. Sorry, I drifted off. From the beginning. OK. Gosh, this is hard. This is like black here. swan. OK, <laughs> here we go. OK. OK. Now it's getting interesting, right? Hey. Right. Okay. You don't sound entirely convinced. The dance moves I'm effortlessly expressing are known as baile. Stop. And are mixed with palmas, flamenco's distinctive hand claps and stamps. E. Okay. It's fine. So okay. in flamenco, if someone's weak, you just abandon them. Is that what happened? You just go to the strong person. But let's continue. Okay. This let's is different. This is different. Fly. Okay, stop. Okay, okay. I grew up in Peckham. When a brother like me is in this position, bad stuff's going down. Bueno, chicos, ha sido un placer. Tengo otra clase y me tengo que ir. Vale? Sensing that it would be fruitless to over-refine a raw, expressive talent like mine, Manuela calls it a dia. Did she just oh. call us chickens? Uh, chicos, it means uh, good dancers, man. OK. Do we good. get certification as the main... Without certification, this is... No worthless. Can you get a certificate when the thing you learned most about is yourself? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the most important certificates you can get. Because I just really learned a lot about... This guy. Welcome back aboard this rattan raft of arts and crafts. Now drifting through Russia's St. Petersburg with man of many moods, <laughs> Rob Beckett. Whoa. At the State Hermitage Museum. Royal residence until Shiz went south in 1917, it's Peaberg's most visited attraction. But because of the uniquely acrid combination of our scents, all six buildings had been cleared prior to our arrival. Wow, it's impressive, isn't it? Given you some design ideas for your new bathroom. With over three mil exhibits to metabolize, there's only time to hone in on the highlights. So, like a couple of hashtag Bolshevants, we rock through the joint. I feel like I've been up some of the best staircases I've ever been up. So this is where the royal family would walk down oh. for the ceremony of the blessings of the water. Oh, right. The Neva representing the River Jordan in that. Yes, of course. Rather yeah. than the artist now known as Katie Price. Oh, what is it? World's largest vase. Looks like bird bath. It's not a bird bath. It looks like bird bath. 19 tons, 2.5 metres high. Jasper, three pieces. Keep them going. It's not, it's not a vase. That is a statement piece, isn't it? Could be on robot wars. Could. I don't think it would win. O'Brien would give it the thumbs down. Wouldn't be a fan of it. Well, Catherine the Great was. Picked up 1781, one of the earliest examples of robotics. What does it move? Yes, it's a clock. I feel like they could have made the clock bit a bit more prominent. The owl likes to play that little drum kit. It's a little owl, Phil Collins. Just go... <laughs> ping. I mean, that I'd like to see. Of course you would. Originally chiming on the hour, the life-size peacock, owl and rooster only squawks once a week, a time period that our format cannot accommodate. Love a chandelier. Too much or just enough? I think this is just enough for this room. Good. Giving it a bit of space to breathe. Yeah. You sound like you're about to do it up. Mmm. Back wall. Go on. Ripple that out. Yes. Cinema screen. Yes. You, you like films, that'd be nice. Of course. Yeah. What would they use this room for? Official functions, banquets. Ask me how many types of wood there are on this parquet floor. Richard, how many types of wood are there on this parquet floor? 16. But to sum up, will you put in an offer? It's ticking a lot of boxes for me. A lot of boxes. But... I'm excited. They've got to get the price right. We put in a bid close to asking price and hope to hammer them down on the survey. 
surely it's time now to cop a cup of crack off with Joe Wilkinson. What are you doing later? Where we enrolled on a once in a lifetime stained glass workshop. Do you do a lot of stained glass work? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, frightening about. Yeah. It's a bit of a busman's holiday, this for me. Yeah. I'll probably know some of the guys in here. You probably will. Yeah. In you go. The Zelensky Studio, centre of Krakow's Art Nouveau movement at the turn of the 20th century, offers classes for rank amateurs like us. I feel like we've come an odd way. Yes. This can't be the most direct way in. No. Gabriella is overseeing our creations, and we start by selecting our separate stains. Which do you think you'll go for? I will not be rushed. OK. Look at that, guys. Oh, that doesn't go at all. Oh, this is bold. Bold or doesn't go at all? I think both. In another bat debating montage, we score. That felt good even from here. Snap. Stop it. <laughs> and grind. You have those ups and downs, right? Can That's just my career. The, the ups, <laughs> the bumps. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Lovely bit of business. We apply copper foil. Yeah. This is an absolute red letter day for my hand double. And Gabriella has some sobering news. We are going to be using very hot tools. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a soldering iron. Yes. Have you used one before? I'll tell you what, I've used a lot of soldering irons in my time. Fixing televisions. I used to work at, uh, in a toy shop and we used to fix scale electrics cars. Okay. Okay, guys, so. I used I'm to work to at a soldering much. iron factory designing the next generation of soldering irons. Well, I used to work for the accountancy firm that did the accounts for that firm. I also work for MI7 on the latest soldering irons they have. I can't top that, I can't no. top that. As things heat up... Very nice. ..so do the soldering irons, thus melting solder as one would expect. <laughs> ah, <laughs> 8.30 broadcast. It's easier than you think. Sometimes... Yep. Uh, when you haven't when... done it right. <laughs> no, when you need You're a little saying, more help. How the flip did you do that? <laughs> it's the work of the moment for Gabriella to take our windows before oxidising them in private. I've never anticipated oxidisation so much. Oh, I just want that thing to oxidise so bad. OK, guys, I'm ready with your pieces. At last, jeez. This is how they look like oxidised. Oh, lovely. Just look at them. Congratulations. They look great. Isn't nice. that nice? Look at They're that really by the lights. Nice. Do you know what? I like it so much, I don't want to know who's done the best one. Aww. I think we've both done good ones. So I don't okay. think we need... Let's go. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Can what we keep the apron? An operation you have here. You've taken enough. Before I take off my top and wrestle the man to the ground, Let's take it to Tenerife with Lena Dunham. Woo! And take in a sculpture trail. I wouldn't put black and orange together, but... I love this cacophony of public art. The route features work from the 1973 International Sculpture Festival by Henry Moore, Juan Miro and acclaimed Canarian artists. Look at this prime slab of Martin Chirio, Lady Tenerife. Beautiful. The missing Krista Berg song. That's the first one they chose in this whole sculpture-a-thon they went on. I like this a lot, but I feel like I've seen as much of it as I need to see. Scottish sculptor Eduardo Paolozzi's homage to Gaudi is suspiciously scalable. This is beautiful. OK, don't go too high. Okay. Well, I want to go as high as I can go. I don't want you to get overly high-spirited. I've become deeply uncomfortable with the choice that I've made. Do you want me to rescue you? Well, now, here's my question. Do you think I can get back down between these? I think that's a struggle. The frontal wedgie I'm experiencing yeah. is profound. You're going down and through. Yeah, this seems right. OK, you've committed to this. It's an excellent pose for a mid-80s to early 90s soft rap album. Yep. Wow. I mean, I'm pleased you're doing this for you. How are you feeling about this one? You know, I have to say I'm pretty pro the exposed nipple and general fecundity of her. Well, it's called La Fecundidad. She looks damn fly. I wish that was the body norm in America and I could just live my truth. Please, don't force me into a compliment. I also went to Venice with Joe Brand, and here is some of it. Followed by some more of it. You make all of these masks yes, here we yourself? Do. Yes, we do. There is a mold for every mask, like this one. Yes. And by hand, 
just paper, water and glue, you push in the mold. Yeah. When you take out, take it out, it takes some time to dry out and then it's ready to start. You we cut uh, all the process. It's all handmade, really. Initially used for keeping locals anonymous while gambling, partying and seducing, masks have been a part of Venetian culture for ruddy ages. Why do people buy masks? For uh, the carnival in Venice. OK. Yes. And that's every year? Yes, every year in February. The most traditional one, it, it was this. It's okay. called the Bauta. OK. It was the mask of Casanova. Hey. Oh, OK. <laughs> Come on now. This will immediately increase my erotic power, which is already pretty high. <laughs> well, yeah. Don't fight it. And then the elements. Here we go. Yes, Bang. exactly. Hey, do you want to freshen up that spritzer? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and we'll have a selection of bar snacks. Thank you. What is the, um, the most popular woman's mask? The most popular for women was that with one. Oh, that that one with the stick. That looks very nice. Yeah. It's better than that one. Really, isn't it? What are you talking about? Yeah. You look like Thomas the Tank Engine's psychopathic brother. Yeah, but you're engaging with me, aren't you? It's Barely. A look. Come on, we're sparking up a report. Your report. eyes are, are, are emptied out of any empathy. I have no empathy. I'm just looking to close deals. <laughs> close deals throughout this town. <laughs> Shutting it down. <laughs> On the rare occasions that this doesn't work, I immediately switch Fresh to this one. one. Because if this one doesn't work, you just come back into the bar. Hey, that other guy, what a jerk. I'm so like embarrassed that, that my better. brother was here before. He's so pushy. <laughs> um, look, why don't we get out of here and, see, you can just come back. Oh, Ooh, he's hello. back. hello, welcome back. He's back. The, the glasses. One. This is This is excellent. We round off this court in Lisbon with self-confessed man, Adam Buxton. This is going to change my life as we expand the theme to include, open air quotes, indigenous, close air quotes, music. Adam. Yes. If you like 19th century Portuguese, nautical related tales of woe. You're talking about Fado, man. I'm talking about real Fado. <laughs> Fado houses are home to Lisbon's equivalent of the blues, traditional music which seeks to evoke an enveloping sense of what the Portuguese called saudade. It's the sense of anguish, yearning, loss, grief. How I feel when West Brom get booted out of the football game. Don't trivialise Fardo. This guy's closing deals all around town. It's like the Mark Owen of the Fardo world. Fardistas, like Rodrigo, traditionally throat their gloom, accompanied by Portuguese guitar. Yes. Do you think they're talking about which one to do next? Like doing a DJ yeah. set? Yeah, yeah. I brought them down too much on the last one. I'm going to bring them up a bit. Make it, like, sad, but not really, really sad. After 20 melancholy minutes, we mooch out for a meander. Well, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I feel so sad I'm going to miss you. I'm going to have to get your number. You're just singing one cornetta. The final part of this retrospective rum punch. Wow. Thumps down in Brussels. Beat them. Thank you. With Lee Mack in a museum and other stories. The colours compared to me are relatively subdued. You would be easier to draw as a cartoon I strip than me. I am a cartoon me. character. Belgium has the densest per square mile concentration of comic strip authors on earth. And this museum gives these dudes and the dudes that came before those dudes their due. And for increased ocular input, we could tail our convo for a curated comic book walking tour. You are the most Belgian looking man I've ever seen. <laughs> No one to me this Bart. I never thought I'd say that to a grown man. Why is Belgium so good at comic making? We have a huge tradition when it comes to making comics. And the first real Belgian comic we still know today is, is Tintin. Tintin started out as a journalist addressing the kids on how people lived in countries around the world. He was the original travel man. He was the real travel man. The only travel man. We don't owe him royalties. Well. We're also going to see some murals outside, yeah. are we not? Yes. Well, let's go now. 
Now, should we? Let's go right now. Okay. Well, let's like wait a, a bit, bit then go. Russell's bromance with the Bon Dessiné sees it bedecked with 50-ish plus murals. This is a lucky look. Is this somebody's house? Yes. They're happy, that they don't mind. Guys living in Brussels are very happy. Yeah, it must be worth drawings. a lot of money now. Make the house more expensive, like a Banksy. Maybe house. even. I don't know. We woke up and there was a Banksy on the side of our house. Oh, really? It was very excited. Well, we're not sure it's a Banksy. It said Sharon is a slag. That's is that a, a Banksy? Banksy. Yeah, That's yeah. A Banksy. yeah. So we think it might be worth, like, a lot of money. <laughs> this is Torgal. Who's done the mural? The artists are making the drawing. The drawing is passed on to a firm that makes the mural. I think a comic book artist's job is not this. This is a completely different skill. Well, same skill, it, bigger brushes, yeah. surely. Lastly, Bart leads us to Yoko Tsuno. Scientist, black belt, diver, pilot, astronaut and serial overachiever. Not this lady, she seems fine, but it's not her. She's got all these superpowers and yet she struggles to keep hold of an orange. Not an orange. Citrus it's fruit. a planet. To be fair, that could be an orange. Bart. Thank you. Heck of a tour. It's yeah. been massive. Thank you for your attention. We're not an E4, Lee. It's been mega, Bart. It's, it's, it's been, been sick. absolutely... This it's has been, been sick. This has been some sick shears. We must head this way. Don't get run over, Richard. I'll try not to. Now it's Madeira, of all things, where Robert Webb and I close the fridge. Threw down in an embroidery workshop. How's your needle craft? Pretty, um, pretty rusty, actually. Is it? Well, yeah. let's hone it. Madeira's embroidery scene is strong. Here at the world-renowned Bordal, cats work from over 40,000 designs, preserving a tradition that's well old. They're walking quite fast. Yes. Hello. 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 Welcome to Bordal. Thank you very much for having us. We join a 90-min workshop led by the fiery fingers of Felice Bella, and it's scarcely a few secs before we're at the business end of perforation. This could be a real action sequence. In the hands of a visionary by John Woo. Keep this sort of embroidery version of face off. I think it's okay for now. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely okay. <laughs> it's no more than that. Second course, from the look of her hands, I ought to remove my white jacket. If you're taking your jacket off, I'd better take my jacket off too. Yeah, let's both jacket off. With alarming alacrity, we employ dye to stencil a pattern onto what will become a couple of kerchiefs. Well, there's Merrick. Yes. I think I'm going to drop off. <laughs> you and everyone watching us. Then Felice Bella decides to drop the nice guy act and get ruddy real. Uh, now we do the ponto de corda. OK. So this is just a classic backstitch. Kind of backstitch that... Oh, now I know where I am. Right. That you might use the stitching on your name tags to your shirts. Do you know what? I, I don't actually name tag my clothes anymore. Really? Yep. When did you stop doing that? Uni? Uh, I think it was before uni. Really? I'm in sixth form now. I'm too busy listening to the new suede record yep. to care about identifying my garments. Bernard Butler doesn't identify his garments. Of course he doesn't. Why would he? After some highly flattering low angle shots. Why is this so stressful? Felice, in an off camera fury that is now in the hands of Funchalian law enforcement, shames us into some shadow point. Starting to sweat. Oh, come on, you. Come on. You've got to get annoyed with her, haven't you? Is she on that machine because she can't do this? Better. Better. <laughs> Thank you. Better, followed by an undermining laugh. Having mastered the craft... Very nice, Robert. And yours is yes, particularly... Yes, it is very nice. Thank you. Our dominance is documented. Yes, certificate. We That's have great. here the certificate. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, it's stamped, it's dated, it's on yeah. good quality paper. It's not laminated. Thank you. Thanks very much. OK. Thank you. Heck of an operation you've got here. If only something linked that to New York, but not even needle and comedian <laughs> Catherine Ryan... It's glorious. ..can provide a linking thread as we sew shears up at the city's smallest museum. Hello. Hello, welcome Hi. to museum. That curb's dangerous, by the way. OK. I almost is. killed myself. So the double M is silent. Yes. The first M, but the second M, you sound. 
if you want to. Okay, right. Say it again slowly. Museum. Okay. Museum. Museum. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Opened in 2012, the museum is housed in a goods elevator, which this afternoon has reached the temperature of fresh lava. My glasses are slipping off my nose. When they say the museum challenges you to find meaning in objects from around the world, which have been overlooked, dismissed or ignored, and they actually say this in this condescending sign, they're not joking about it being a challenge. Exhibits include different kinds of cornflakes and things left by illegal immigrants crossing into America. These are good, these Trump accessories. The Trump energy drink. He has an energy drink? I actually own the art of the comeback myself, but in paperback. How is it? It's heavy going. Okay. It's heavy going. Maybe you wrote it on the energy drink. Yeah. Above the Trump collection are cookies displaying major events of 2015, including the VW emission scandal and edible instances of the refugee crisis. There is also an audio guide, God help us, to unlock the complex imagery. Would you like to listen to the audio recording? I'd like my head to cool down. That's it's what I'd very like. hot. I tell you what the story of this, this incredible melting man, that's what the story is right here. I'm not even incredible. It's like the, the slightly bemused melting man. I want you to be comfortable. That's why I'm here. That's what friendship is. This is hell. This is hell in here. <laughs> I'm in a lift on my phone looking at weird... I mean, Please this is hell. Do you want me to enter another reference number? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm very hot. I'm sorry, it? I apologise. It's not your fault. You didn't design this. No, she didn't. You're just out of work. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm going to leave. This has been something. It really has. So great. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for coming thank to the museum. You. We had a really great time. Privy to Paris, where Art's bucket doth burst with crafty contents, this time in the company of one of the few Mel Gidroids still at large. <laughs> wow. Paris's most famous gallery is the Louvre, but we haven't got time to slog through some of the most evocative works ever produced in human history, let alone pay for it. We want to look at graffiti for free. Armed with Street Art Map, an interactive website that points out art wherever you are in the world, we're off to spot some stuff that's been sprayed on walls. Look at Gregos. He does these 3D models of his yeah. face. He's got a very small face. I think he's trying to save on 3D printing costs. Yeah. Oh. You find us between Kai and Shatters. You can yes. thank my app for telling me who did it. Kai. Yes. Kai. 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 Shatters. I love seahorses. It's quite hard to be angry around a seahorse, isn't it? Oh, Shatters has come apart. You've ruined a bit of Shatters. Let's, let's, that's let's move a on. shame. But that's, I mean, if Shatters have got to expect that. Has anyone got any glue? Right. No one will ever know. Art restoration duly performed. We head for a street art shrine to a French singer and cultural icon. Serge Gainsbourg's house, Mel. I can tell you moved. He doesn't do it for me. No? Not really. Really? Do you like his music? I do. Do you? Yes, La Javanaise. That's How's very that good. How's that going? La, 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 la. A lot of them are quite like that. Yeah. Who I'm... wrote Letitia? That's incredible. What? I love Serge Gainsbourg. L A E dans la D I D I A. Oh, Letitia. Sous le soleil, exactement. And of course, Je t'aime. Really? There's something I don't about like that. It. There, the, the breathiness of it. Afraid of breasts, of course. Was he? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Let's leave. Growling, yeah. We hang up our aesthetic spurs in the sprightly sight of Bob Mortimer in Hamburg, <laughs> where we indulged our mutual passion for statue. You're pointing at something. Yeah. Zitron yeah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that terribly well. And what's the story? She sold lemons right. by the harbour, as represented by this basket of lemons. Yes, that's just a representation of it's, lemons. It's not right? actual lemons. OK. She was sadly attacked. Because of the quality of her lemons? It's hard to know. These are known. An orange salesman? Someone from the Anti-Citrus League? I think they were a thing. But the attacks sent her into madness. Right. And um, here we are. And she's pointing her finger out as if offering assistance. And people are, are rubbing that finger. Yeah. For good luck. And it's really just 
a reminder of how cruel life can be, which I also feel is what this show is about. Um, <laughs> One day, you'll be cast in bronze like this, and you'll have to decide on a finger posture. I think that's quite good. It's forceful. It's... Let's see what's up there. <laughs> the hoped-for answer to that inquiry is nothing, which is also what I feel I've given to others. Farewell.